Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day one. I don't know why I drove day one. Of course it's day one. Day one of the uh, September Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord. Let me know what you think about this poem. Um, but those of you who go back to school or something, congrats, I guess. I don't know what to say. But, uh, but this is a problem with classes, it seems like, in school. So I don't know, maybe that's a good time. I just finished my 15 uh, mile run. What is 10 kilometers? Like 22 or something? 23, 24, 24 kilometers. So, uh, so I'm very tired. I just took a shower, uh, and I'm very physically cold as a result of just, you know, like all the heat is out of my body because it took like so long. But uh, yeah, <laughs> so that's. I mean, that's it for now. For that, let's focus on today's poem. Uh, yeah, and we have seventeen ninety two maximum average pass ratio. It's a school that has, a, that has classes of students. Each class is a final exam. 2D array classes. Classes of eyes pass total. So percentage, I guess. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Whatever. You know, before and then, I have classes that total students, but only pass number of students will pass the exam. Okay, you're also given an injury extra students. There are other extra students, brilliant students, that are guaranteed to pass any exam, okay? You want to assign each of the extra students in a way that maximizes the average pass ratio in all the classes. Okay. Um, I think one thing that's interesting about this problem, maybe, um, that, um, yeah, that maybe worth looking into is called this, uh, Simpsons Paradox, I think. Um, hopefully that's right. Or Simpsons Ratio, maybe? I don't know. But, uh, th th you could probably Google it up on Wikipedia and stuff like that. But it's this idea that, um... I mean, I just look it up. It, it doesn't have that much to do with this problem, but it has some kind of, um, it is interesting in terms of ratios and maths and maybe intuition. Because for me, it always feels like a little uh, counterintuitive. It's not a real paradox, I don't think. I, I don't, I feel like everyone just calls everything a paradox. But, but it is something that is kind of fun to, um, fun to think about. In any case, all right, so basically you want to, uh, do, 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 right? I think you know, we have 10 to the 5th extra students. Uh, I think that's the part that um, I'm mean, looking at the constraints. That's the part that I'm interested in, in the sense that, that the reason why that is interesting is that 10 to the 5th is small enough that it gives you a chance. Maybe not, maybe, right? maybe not, I don't know. But it gives you a, there's a chance that um, you could simulate it one by one, right? Because if this is 10 to the 9, for example, then you have no chance of simulating one by one. I mean, you may still be able to simulate it. And actually, I think, depending on how you want to simulate it, I think you can actually do it that way with maths. But, yeah, that, actually, that, that would be a fun, interesting upsolve, actually. Uh, but in any case, it being 10 to the 5th, though, you could keep it, keep it simple and uh, think about simulate. But of course, Simulate means that you're basically doing what they tell you one by one, in a way, and in that way you have to do it very fast because, or very quickly. Because ten to the fifth is, you know, you cannot do like an O of N thing on every student because that's just too slow, right? But yeah, and the idea here would be for me anyway. What would make sense is sorting by. There, there are a couple of things that you could sort by, right? I and mean, I think the most intuitive, and honestly, maybe my first thought even, would have been to sort by the lowest ratio, right? Because the lowest ratio, you raise it, it goes up a little bit. But actually, I don't think so. Right? On, on like an extra five seconds dot, you actually want to sort by what gives you the most benefit, right? Um, one thing to note is that you want the average of these ratios. And the average of ratios is the same as the sum of sum of the ratio in a way, right? You divide it by n, it's the same n every time. So as you go to the sum of the the, uh, the ratios, and as a result, it is a linear function, right? Because it is sum. And what does it mean by linear function? That means that each component, you can also, uh, they're independent of each other in a way, right? There's no, you know, it's not like a t multiplied by b or something like that, right? And because they're independent, that means that, um, you actually want to just maximize the the change in one thing is good enough, right? For once, especially if you're simulating one student at a time, uh, if you have one extra student, you want to give you the thing that gives you the most change. 
And that is what you want to sort by. You want to sort by how much change, how much delta, if you will, that one student will give to that each friend. And of course, at that point, then you want to get um, repeated max, right? Because, well, with one student, you're able to get a max, but then you want to do it again for the second student, dot, 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 the simulation that we talked about. And as a result of that, well, you're getting repeated max, that leads you straight to your um, data structure, which is a heap. And we have a heap, is log n every time, maybe two log n, you know, uh, uh, pop and put it back in. And as a result, <clears throat> you have s for students say, um, yeah, that's it, right? s log n, and that, that's basically it. And that's good enough for us to start implementing. I'm gonna, <laughs> extra students is so long, so I'm just gonna go to s. Uh, yeah, right? And then now we have a heap. Um, keep in mind that uh, a heap in Python is min heap, right? And as we said, we want a max heap um, to get the max ratio. Um, so yeah, so we, we'll do that. Um, just want to point it out. I mean, we'll, we'll do it, right? But uh, what is it again? Uh, pass total, right? Uh, we want to say n. There, there are a couple of like micro optimizations that I know. People always point out in the comments, like, I don't know. It's like, eh, no, I know, but I don't, I just want to keep it simple and straightforward. One of them is that, yes, you can put everything in an array and then heapify it, but it doesn't change the complexity, right? I mean, it is slightly faster than putting the items one at a time, but you know, it's fine. Uh, basically, what we want to calculate is as we set the delta. Well, first, um, well, I was going to say maybe we have to update classes, but I guess we don't need it. We just need um, the current ratio, right? So maybe we want to store P and T. That's not what we're sorting by, but that we, that's what we want to store for now. Um, we want to store, say, uh, P over T. So this is the after, right? Or oh, this is the before. So the delta would be the after, so uh, after minus before. And it will always improve. So you want something like p plus one over t plus one, something like this, right? And you want to sort by this. And some of you may argue, like, do you worry about um, uh, folding point operations, right? I mean, right here, I mean, obviously you cannot do integer division. That just makes no sense. But if you're doing folding point and you're doing sorting, what if you do you worry about it? And the answer is, well, not really for this problem, right? Um, the reason being that if you have two numbers that are close enough to kind of flip flop or whatever, um, because of you know error on the folding point system number, and keep in mind that each of these numbers will be less than one, right? Because that's how fractions work. Um, if if you have two numbers that are close enough to be mistaken for another, um, as part of the heap sorting, if you want to call it that, then they're they're, they're so close that it doesn't matter anyway, right? Is my point. The order doesn't matter, only the delta matters, and the delta is going to have a small error if they are mistaken for each other. So these are things that, you know, as you, uh, you could think about without that, that much thinking with practice. Anyway, so that's the bonus, right? So maybe we would even write, um, maybe I, I could put in a, instead of thing there, we could write um, bonus, delta, what's a, what's a good variable name? Uh, let's just say gains, maybe, right? So that's the gains. This is the before, this is the after, and we have gains. And the reason why, I, 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 uh, as we said, this is a min heap, so we want to make it max heap by just putting a negative to it. I, I Honestly, I wish, to, I mean, hmm, I, I want to say that I wish there's an easy way to do a max heap, or even just like a heap with like a lambda function. Maybe there is, I need to look it up. But um, I think that would be great in general. I don't know. <laughs> But in any case, right? So now we put everything in there, right? And then now we all we have to do is just do 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 do, do right? Um, for each student, we just well we just pop the heap, right? So we want to say gains, which we don't care about really. Uh, P T is equal to um, the the pop, right? Oops. <clears throat> um, yeah, so that's it. And then now we want to add one to it. 
and then put it back in, right? You can maybe also like maintain some data structure for the delta if you really want, but we could also just sum it, do it once at the end. That's why I'm not really worried about it now. Uh, but yeah, uh, we want to say, yeah, so here we want to say P, and maybe we, we could have a, um, a helper function here actually so that we don't have to repeat this. But here we increment because we, we just, you know, didn't. But yeah, maybe we can write um, uh, insert PT maybe. Right, something like that. Possibly terrible name, but whatever. Right. Then now we can also just write insert um, the new PT, or you can write P plus one T plus one even maybe, if you want to put. I don't know. Right. And then that's it. And then now at the very end, we can just go for the heap, right, or the data structure containing the heap. You could pop them, but you can also just go for it, right. We don't care about the, the new gains anymore. Um, we have P and T, the new, the, the most recent P and T uh, in heap. And then it's just, you know, we have a total. Again, we can just do, 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 do. Technically speaking, maybe this gives a little bit more error because you're summing by a big number and then dividing, but I, I don't care. <laughs> uh, and then we can just return total over N, yeah. And hopefully this is right, otherwise I just sound silly. But yeah, it uh, looks okay. Let's give it YOLO submit. Hopefully I didn't miss or just, I don't even know. At this point, I don't even know if I would say I missed reading it. It's just I was too lazy to finish reading it sometimes and I just missed some stuff. But yeah, uh, that's it. That's all you have for this one. You, you have? What am I talking about? That's all I have for this one. Uh, what's the complexity, right? We always said it. Um, each insertion and pop will be O of log N, right? The N classes, that's just how it goes. And S is the number of students. Um, so the I, I would say um, see if you could upsolve it so that you don't do it one student at a time. And let's just say you have ten to the nine students if you really want to uh, push yourself. Um, I think it's not super bad, but hmm. I don't know. Maybe there's still like some weird cases actually, but. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's not as easy as I think it is, but try playing with it. See what happens. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. That's quite a night. Uh, I still have to do the weekly poem actually, and review uh, a week uh, uh, the Q4. But that's why I have this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy. To your mental health. I'll see y'all later. And take care. Bye bye.